Today I'm going to help you overcome one fear. Everybody has fears. Everybody has something they're afraid of. Today I'd like you to identify one thing that you're afraid of. It could be a fear of public speaking. It could be a fear of rejection. It could be a fear of intimacy or commitment. It could be a fear of failure. Could be a fear of something specific like snakes or spiders. So pick one fear and let's work on it today. I'm going to be doing an exercise from my book, Freedom Through Forgiveness. The exercise is called Fear Finder. This exercise requires that you have a few minutes where you're not interrupted. So if you need to, pause the video and make sure that you're not going to be interrupted for a few minutes. Turn off the television, turn off your cell phone, anything else that might distract you. You need a place that's peaceful without distraction for a few minutes. Okay, let's start by taking a few deep breaths. You want to quiet your mind, settle down your emotions, okay? Try to shut out any sounds that are around you. You just want to be at peace and quiet so that you can hear. I'm going to say some statements out loud, and then I want you to just quietly wait for an answer. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to come up with it in your mind. What you want to do is quiet your mind, and we're going to be asking for answers. And just wait and see what comes to you. You might get an answer in the form of a memory, a picture in your mind, a feeling, a word, a sound, or just an inner knowing. So take a minute to quiet your mind, and I want you to focus on the one specific fear that you want to overcome today. You can close your eyes if you want to and just listen. It might be easier to focus. So focusing on that one specific fear, here's the first question that I'm going to ask, and I want you just to wait and listen for an answer. Spirit of Truth, where did this fear come from? Okay, I trust you have an answer to the first question. If you don't, you can come back and try this video at another time. Here's the second question. Who taught me this fear? Okay, now I'd like to lead you in saying some statements out loud to help you to break the power of this fear. I'd like you to focus on an image of the person or people who taught you that fear. If there's more than one, that's fine. Focus on them all. Just imagine them as a group in your mind. And I want you to say these words after me out loud. Somehow saying them out loud helps to break the power of the fear. Don't be afraid. Just repeat them after me, even if they're quietly said, okay? Focus on the people you need to forgive who taught you that fear and say, I forgive you for teaching me this fear. I release you from the harm you caused me.
I forgive myself for allowing this fear to control me. I no longer choose to partner with this fear. I let it go. Now take some deep breaths and let it go. You are releasing this fear. You are releasing yourself from this fear. Let it go. It's not yours anymore. You don't have to keep it. Okay, we're going to have one more question. Quiet your mind again. Here's the last question. Spirit of truth, what can I have in exchange for giving up this fear? Sometimes people have a hard time receiving an answer to this last question. And if that's the case, I encourage you to get a copy of my book, Freedom Through Forgiveness, and do the last exercise in the book, which is the barrier breaker. But for those of you that got an answer, I encourage you, write down today's date and write down the answer. And then I want you to open up your heart now and in the coming days and say, I receive whatever it was that you were given an answer to that last question. What are you receiving in exchange for this fear? You're not just giving up a fear, you're also receiving something positive. It's an important process to give it up and then to receive something in exchange. So thank you for working to overcome one fear today. You can come back and watch this video as many times as you want to each time picking a new fear to work on. If you find that there's a fear that's particularly stubborn, come and do the same process again. It can't hurt. You will notice a difference as you break the power of fear in your life one by one. You will notice your anxiety reducing. You will notice your stress getting less and less. You will notice that you're happier, you're more at peace, you're more confident. Believe me, I've seen the results myself and I've seen the results in many of my clients. So keep working on it. It's like pulling weeds in a garden. You pull them one at a time. You can do this. You can be fearless. You can be confident. You can have peace. Thank you for working on this today with me.